welcome, I'm Carbon Chili, and this is the extravaganza that is my channel, where we play professional games unprofessionally. So, if it does entertain you in any way, please don't hesitate to like or subscribe. So, this is a new game, Gods of Sand. Uh, it's been out a little while. I'm going to turn this music down a little bit. Uh, it is blaring in my ears somewhat. Uh, so we're going to start a new game here. It's one of these gladiatorial games, a little like Domina, I'm going to make an analogy from. Uh, but this is a little more fantasy based and a little more brutal uh, in its maybe its difficulty or in its uh, uh, gameplay maybe. So let's go and have a look. Um, I do normally like this kind of game. Uh, I did have a, a lot of great fun with Domina. Uh, I played it through maybe two or three times uh, with different levels of difficulty. So we will see what this game is like. So stepping out from your chariot, you're greeted by the wooden doors of an old and abandoned building. This is the Ludus you inherited from your uncle. Ah, oh, your Uncle Dad again. Uh, but ancient Roman Uncle Dad. With this sight, you think about the feasts and friendships you'll miss from the capital, but maybe this will be, this is for the best. Maybe you'll learn the hard way how to run a business, as your family expects by sending you here. Near the main gate, an older figure looks at you impatient. Should be impatiently, but anyway. Uh, come on, kiddo, I ain't got all day, he shouts. Now, I'm going to have to point out here, I am an English teacher by trade, so sometimes I will pick up on grammatical errors. It's just a bad habit of mine, unfortunately. So, as you approach, he says, tell your father this is the last favour I'll do him. I already gave my last friends to your damn family. Tomorrow I'll be gone for good, he states as clearly as he can. The man continues, let me show you around this dump. You'll be calling home. Come on, he says, while forcing his way through the jammed gate. <laughs> okay. And here it is. Huh? Not as fancy as I remember. <laughs> Looks empty, right? Your lucky people didn't steal the bricks, too. Well, you can't do much with just walls. You don't look like you want to get your hands dirty. So I just suggest you get someone to do the hard work here. Yeah? Let's go to the city to get you a man. Follow me. Now, I do love this 8-bit graphics, but I have to say, on a large monitor like this, I don't think it looks very good, unfortunately, at a high resolution. So, leave the Ludus and visit the city. <laughs> okay, and here we are. Let me introduce you something, to some interesting people. You see that burly lady to your right? That's Cecilia, the blacksmith. The one-eyed bandana is something her people wear. Don't be intimidated by that. Oh, she is Cyclops. Being the only blacksmith in the region means that she sells her wares really fast, so be sure to come and check them every week. The prices are fine, as people here have no money to spend. Now, that young man to your left, left is Yosef, the carpenter. It might not look like, but he was the one that built your uncle's Ludus 40 years ago, so he is the right person to talk to if you want to make it less bad. <laughs> Far in the back, you can see the temple of your people. It was built to try to convert our folk, but I don't think it worked that well. Most gladiators start their careers fighting in the temple. Some of them end their career there, too. That two-story house at the tavern where men go after the sunset to do business. They're always in need for strong gladiators to just run some errands for money, and you can find their requests on the quest board at your leaders. 
And finally, at the heart of the market, there is the place where we are headed to, a gladiator's auction. Fit men get on top of the platform to be picked by a master like yourself and get sponsored for the rest of their career. But it's not like they have a choice. In these lands, work is scarce, and many go hungry. Even with all the risks, becoming a gladiator is one of the best choices around here. They'll provide them food, shelter, and some coin that you eat that they usually send out to their families in exchange they fight for your name and to entertain the people. They keep training, fighting and getting better. Skilled warriors fight for bigger prizes, but they will demand a larger weekly payment. They do this until the day comes when they risk everything. That's when they go to the tower. Only one warrior can go in at a time. Many have entered, but no one ever came out. The testament says that the peace of God awaits the men who get to the top. That's where I'm going tomorrow, but today I still have things to settle. So let's get you your man already. So, gladiator market. Who have we got? Robert Luikis, Gavril Pompeius, and Tudor Maximian, Maximianus. Uh, well, I like his name. He ain't very clever, though. Uh, resistance. I like a bit of speed. I like agility. Fast, hit and fast. Agility and dexterity. Two. I think I. I think I. I he was my first first one. So can we? Purchase him. Okay, that's enough for your first day. You should leave your gladiator training for something for the rest of the evening. Tomorrow, we'll have his great DBU. So click here to open the training menu. Choose fighting any stat for him to train or don't. I'll leave it up to you. You can choose anything. Well, ooh, magic power. Hmm, interesting. Uh, that's critical. Increases the bit chance. Yeah, I want agility. <laughs> oh, and you can teach your men some skill by clicking on this button, but you don't have the money and I don't have the time for this now. Declose this inventory and let's move on. Okay. I, I, I clicked. I clicked. Good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Your warrior might be a little stronger by then. Okay, let's... No. Well, I, I, can, I can only open the calendar. There are no events happening today. Next day. So it will only let me. So, at the cockerel crows, rise and shine, boy. How do you like sleeping on a straw pile, huh? Well, today is the big day for you and for me. Come on, get your van ready. We're going to get your first fight. Click to open the world map. Okay, uh, select a gladiator. Uh, select an arena. Send a gladiator. And let's go a fighting. Who the maxim? Ooh. Do I fight? Did he just fireball me? He's gonna kick my. Let's elbow him. Let's uh, kick him. Oh no no that's that's flee. Let's push. That's attack. <laughs> ah, that was my final lesson for you. You're naive to, naive to kill this man. And for what? So you can feed your ego. The fact is that your kind is all the same. You can only see what suits you. Take this defeat home for your damn family. Now if you, if you just settle any score with me, you can find me in the tower. I'm off. That was a bit of a... git. Feeling like a fool, you find yourself stunned while the blood of your gladiator runs through the, the sides of your sandals. Some of the crowd is also shocked, but most of them are either laughing or returning to carry on their day. 
you fail. You let a man dry, die because of your naivety. Now you're on your own. It's time to recompose. Think about your mistakes and utilize everything the city can provide. Now, that's a little bit of a rip-off. Because in actuality, I don't think I would have put that man up to fight against a guy with a flaming torch and a fireball. Uh, so, I get you feel a cold hand on your shoulder. One of the bystanders, a tall man in a green cloak holding some sort of cane, reaches you. You look at him with unease, but notice something on his left hand. The man awkwardly lays a small but heavy pouch on your forearm and says, my boss didn't like what they pulled up against you. These will help. If you use it wisely, maybe you'll hear from him again in the future. Yeah, more like it. It's a ringer. It was a ringer. It was a fix. Uh, so, inventory. Well, clearly I don't have anything. Uh, so, we have to go back to the city. We got a hundred shekels, or whatever they call it. Uh, can we go, we go to the gladiator market? Codrut Blasius. I mean, this guy's a bit old. Horia Cicero. Uh, uh, I like him. Um, I don't really like him, but he's got good vitality. Okay, we're gonna go with Codric. Can we buy two? Yeah, well, let's buy two. Maybe not the best of ideas. Now, let's go to the black market. Black, black strip. Leather stripes, uh, cloth rags, cloth skirt, turban, cloth armbands. After centuries of hand injuries, fighting, let's buy some of these. Yeah. Buy some cloth rags, cloth armband. Who's this dude? So, subscribes your looters for a lifetime, ooh, lifetime usage rights in the city's baths. Oh, training. Oh, we don't have enough. Housing. Oh, we don't have enough. These beds can be rolled and positioned in any way, creating more space in the ambient while being more comfortable than straw. Stables and hold ups carry the weight of your man in the back faster than walking, but not so much. Uh, oof. So what? Dancing. Save a dancing company from its bankruptcy. They'll eternally, they'll be eternally grateful to you sending private shows every few weeks to your looters. Well, I can't say that we can. What can the car? Oh, that's a carpenter. So let's head back to the looters. And let's go to our inventory. We have Codrat and Stan. So let's give him that and him that. Let's up his. Ooh. Strength. So, Sanguine. Uh, increases Agile by 20%. So I, I have to buy these. Okay, that's good. So let's give him the stick. And let's give him the wraps for knuckle dusting. So can we train? Yeah, okay. And... No, I think they have to, well, actually, for recovered max HP, pushes an opponent back, attacks and stuns, the, ooh, heavy jab, I like that. Weekly wages 30. 
Well, that puts us in a pickle, doesn't it? So, let's go to the next day. And let's see... Built during the Conquest era, the temple was a place of worship through faith, now turned into an arena of worship through sacrifice. Uh, but we don't know when the next... We don't know when the next... Uh, Um, about is, are these, oof, oh, I'm going to have to sell someone. I am going to have to sell someone. So, unfortunately, Bob or Stan you're going to have to go. Yep. Okay. Right. That will give us enough money. No. What about today? There are no events happening today. I think I have to basically wait a week. Now that's not fantastic. We paid our wages, but we gotta win a fight. You hand out a total of 18 coins between all your gladiators, paying each according to their own value. I didn't have to sell him then. Son of a gun. I want to know when I can go to the arena or the tower. So, that must be the next day for the arena. No. Uh, guards. Ah, we could do a job, couldn't we? We could do a job. Yes, yeah, send a gladiator. And let us, and then I'll go back and buy another gladiator. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. What's this? No, don't want to leave the ludus. Oh, that's my chariot. Contracts. He's tra traveling eight days. Uh, okay, let us, let us jump to, can you jump to the 13th? Are we able to do that? No. It would be good if we could jump ahead a few days. I can't really afford another, I shouldn't have sold the, the uh, gladiator, but unfortunately, you had out, yeah. Okay, ooh. He, one would hope. One would hope. No. One would hope. Uh, what now, where is that gladiator? Traveling four more days. That would maybe not the right job to take, unfortunately. Oh, it's a storm. A storm is back there in the ruin. Now, where is Godrot? Come on. And it's the day when the wages are due. And we have no wages. How come it's taken him eight days? Oh. Oh. That was lucky. Ooh, that was lucky. So. Let's go and buy another gladiator. Uh, somebody with... 
We've got good vitality. Six. Constantine Nerva. One intelligence. None of these guys are intelligent, are they? But he's got a good vitality. Go on. We we'll love you. Now, let's go back to the Ludus. Did I buy you? I did buy you. Oh, it's you who's training. So let's train you on this. And um, actually, let's get back to the city. If we can buy another weapon, that might be good. Uh, shortage, court staff, leather stripes. Ah, oh, we got leather stripes. Uh, let's buy this and let's buy this for you. And we'll put the leather stripes on you. And you can be our martial artist kickboxer. Hold on. Let's get that on you. Let's get that on you on your left shoulder. And let's get you here. Now, where did I contracts? Okay, so six days, rescue a shipment. Two days, 5% death, 74% death. Let's send you. Perfect. So, now I guess, I guess it's about buying and training gladiators for a little bit. How can we, not oh, again, not you. You, can we buy you? I hope, no, I don't want to buy you a happy job. Can I buy you this for Mantra? Recovers 20%. You increase uses agility and dex by 20. Yeah, that's good. Now we're going to be a bit stopped. But she should be back before the next contract is needed. Ah, there we go. So, can we buy another skill? What's weak point? Your critical. Uh, can we buy this? No. I want. To, ooh, 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 ooh. No, I want to buy it for him. I want to buy him heavy job. Uh, and you know, let's go back to the city. I'd like to buy another gladiator. Ooh. We need to upgrade our looters at the carpenter. Weaver. How do we. Ah. Okay, that's fine. That will give us more. Now I can't afford that, so we need to go back and do a contract. Um, okay. Let's send. Henchman, ooh, sent him, and rescue a shipment for him. That should give us a nice bit of money. Uh, I quite like this. I'm enjoying it. Ooh. He died. He died. Oh, Thomas. Thomas, what happened? What happened to you, my lad? And we lost his armor. And we skilled him up. Guards for the tavern, that's nine days. It's a hundred. Let's send our gladiator. Okay. We got enough for the pay. Uh, do you know I'm going to buy another gladiator and get in training whilst we're waiting? Uh, now, who have we... Oh, wow. 
Grant Tan. Who's this? Doru Flavius. Endurance 7. Electric. Vitality 8. 3. Ooh. Uh, his vitality is not so good, but his strength is. Now, uh, since we're training strength, we're gonna go for this guy. Can we get two? Can we get two? Okay. That's taking a risk, but. That is taking a risk, but hopefully, uh, let's send him and do we rescue a shipment tutoring for a brat? Why? Because we don't have a renown. Okay. Uh, defense. Okay, that's fine. That will give us a lot more this time. 53. 53. Oof. The next month now. We're into the next month. So let's have a look at our, his defenses. Let's get his decks up a little bit now. Weekly cost. Now they should be coming back relatively soon. And hopefully we should have enough money by the time they come back. It is nine days. It should be the same day. Uh, let's have a look at our inventory. He's got a vitality of eight. Let's get his agility up a little bit now. Uh, we're not going to have enough money, I don't think. Uh, you absolute sons of donkeys. You absolute sons of donkeys. Um, so what happens when you over, overextend yourself? You take a risk. You take a risk. Now, I want to fight in an arena. But there doesn't seem to be any. How do I actually even have that trick? I don't even know where Patrick is. Uh, oh, and I lost my job. Uh, and we have no money. So we have to do this. And he has a risk of dying. And we will see if he dies. Oh, fantastic. He survived. No, we won't jump ahead another day. We need to rescue a shipment because we need another gladiator. Now, hopefully when they left our looters, they um, gave us our stuff back. Because otherwise, they're cheating, thieving rats. And I will flay them alive with salt if I ever catch them. So let's go buy another gladiator and we'll we'll only do some safe missions, I think. Uh, he's pretty good. Nelu Defense 8, Defense 8. Uh, I think I have to further look at him, Cornell. So We've got a stick. Do we? No, we don't have any wraps. We'll buy another stick. Uh, ooh. I 
riveted leather helmet. Do you know what? I'm not going to take that. It's too much of a risk. Uh, that's plus one. Better training. Oh, I'm at 43. Okay. We'll take it. But we need to get somebody in. Ooh, ooh, very good. Very good. Uh, but we need to get Cornell out doing this. And uh, you, me lad. No. You, me lad, can have that. You can have this armor as well. I'll have to buy some more for the other chap as well. Uh, he's been doing his decks. Let's do his resistance now. And then some defense. Uh, that should be good. Uh, now, our chippy chap, he should be back tomorrow if he survived. If not, Oh, 98, he's, he's there, he was, he, he survived. Uh, now, let's get him with that. Is, I want you training agility. And you, I want training, what's this? Five, let's get you on defense. And let's jump ahead another day, and then I'll get somebody out on a job. Or I'll get both of them out on a job, in fact. Uh, can I send two of them? No. Uh, guards for the tavern. Let's send Patrick. Okay, it's a nine-day thing. Uh, it's a nine-day thing. Can we take the risk? No, before we take the risk, I'm going to take that off of him. And then we will... Oh, maybe not. Let's... We've got enough money. We've got enough money. I'm going to get another guy. I'm going to get another guy. I like the look of him. Oh, definitely him. Definitely him. Um... Some cloth rags, like that. Uh, carpenter stables, minus one travel, minimum of one day. Pig farm on the back of this. Ludus having a steady sort of protein plus 50% training speed. Reduces weekly wages. Ah. Reduces weekly wages in 6%. Okay. Dancing company. Oh, we don't have enough. 76. We've got one, one day's worth. One day's worth. Now, tomorrow is the wages, which should be 50. Florin, what are you doing? Agility. Cornell, let's get you on strength now. Um, okay, we don't want to sell him. Let's give him this weapon. Uh, get them training. Get them training. Contract. Guards for a caravan. Let's get Cornell out on this. 
had almost no chance of death in it. And I think we're going to have to get the other guy out on this contract in the hope that he, come on, please don't die. Please don't die. Because we spent all our money again. Oh, fantastic. So, um, he's, let's do a little strength. Oh, no, his defense. His defense is very poor. Uh, the other two are out. Uh, although there are no events, and I do not understand this. I can do contracts. Maybe my, my guys are not strong enough. Maybe that's what it is, and maybe I just have to do contracts until they're strong enough. That's another 50, 53, and this is only going to go up. Now, one of them should be back very soon. That's two months we've run now. Two months in the game. Uh, let's check his skill now. He's, he's, he's battering. Oh, 105. Okay. And the other guy's back as well. So, we're going to do your defense, and you're going to do strength. What are you doing? Defense. And then Rez, he's got a nice all round. I mean, this guy's our best for the moment. Uh, and let's get the contract. Oh, no more contracts. Okay. So, pass another day. Maybe it's like one contract a week or something. Yeah, one contract a week. So, I mean, we have enough to cover the wages for two months. Let's check their training. He's on a four. Well, he's not actually training. He's on seven. Let's get him on strength. He's on six, 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 five, seven. Let's get his intelligence up. Get his intelligence up. So next day, and we pay our wages. Yay, another 105 coins and 55 in wages. We got all three of them back. Cornell is back. He's on his strength. He's doing his uh, thing. Perfect. Okay, so this is all looking very good. So we will pass another day and then we will check some contracts out again. Contracts, guards, guards, we need more renown. Okay, so I've been Carbon Chili, you've been the audience, and this has been Gods of Sands. Thank you. Mm -hmm.